So, uh, space robots. Let's see. Uh, what happens in space that for, think about a robot. Let's see something uh, very, very easy, something like this. And your hand here. This is a space robot. This is kind of what everything in space robot is about, more or less. So what's the difference between being here on Earth and being in space? Gravity. 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 Well, there is gravity here, and in space there is still gravity. It's Not even gravity. gravity. Is microgravity. Okay. And what that means? It means that you are in a constant uh, falling down situation. Okay. Let's see. Uh, the, the difference is between something that is placed here and something that is in orbit. So what's the difference? Come on. Okay, it's less gravity there, let's say, to be heard. But every action uh, finish when due to uh, friction, for example, inside in the space, every action uh, has to be uh, to receive an opposite action to finish. I mean, if I'm going straight uh, with a at certain acceleration, I have to uh, produce uh, an opposite acceleration to stop. Okay, well, the friction part is, yes, uh, of course, we have air on Earth, and some satellites might be still affected by air in the low Earth, uh, lowest orbits, anyway, in a very, very smaller way, but still. But let's see that one is in, in the OAA. Uh, without air, completely no air, and okay, neglect that there are other things that may influence its motion and its attitude. So, what is the, dif the difference? There is no ground to fix all the. Yeah, exactly. The, the point is, this is free to move as much as it wants. If a robot is placed here, you have a ground, what is called a ground. So, the base of your robotic arm, for example, it will not move if you don't want it to move whether you have. Uh, something to do that, but if it's the base is on this table, the arm will go until it's reach, and that's it. This is floating. That means that if you have uh, uh, engines, rockets, you can move it more or less in a very very close by from your orbit, but you can still do that. So. There is something that happens in space that is, you can see even the effects here in a different way, and they affect robots in a different way in space. Let's see. So, you know that, let's think that there are no forces around acting on a uh, satellite. So, what happens when you try to move the arm? Rotation, start to rotation. Yeah. Around this uh, uh, G center. Uh, yeah, that's the issue. Okay. Okay, that, that exactly is. A space robot, usually, is something that uh, rotates around the center of mass. So let's say you have a very, let's say, more heavier base. So something like this. Yeah, the center of mass here. But you also have a smaller center of mass and a smaller one here. So it actually is the body center, the center of uh, the all the mass. Let's say is something maybe here, okay. And that that's one thing. It, it rotates around that, okay. But uh, as you said, if I try to move the robotic the, the arm, it moves also the base. You know the principle. Uh, action reaction. No, it's not action reaction. It's inertia. It's both inertia, but it's not inertia. The third is momentum conservation. Momentum It doesn't record your voice. Momentum conservation. Okay. So what is momentum? You said it. Come on. Okay. It's it is the mass times the velocity. That's the linear momentum. The linear if you think about linear momentum, it's not it's that what. Yes. Actually, uh, it's was here. For the, so, um, can I say? <laughs> Come on. 
contract. You, you know the answer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know that you know. <laughs> so, what is the angular momentum, let's say? How do you write it You're in your classroom? So let's see, this is the angular momentum, and it's equal to? What is momentum? Angular momentum. Okay, uh, the force? Well, no, no, there's not yet force. What is this? It's the, the inertia of your body, so let's say, times what? Uh, inertia is something related to the mass and the distribution of mass, then? Yeah, the angular velocity. Okay, let's go ahead okay. Okay, this is the angular momentum. So you have something that depends on the speed, the speed of rotation of your body, and something that is related to your mass and how your mass is distributed. So if this is constant with time, let's see, that is the conservation of angular momentum, means that if the inertia is fixed, so it doesn't change, Velocity doesn't change, right? You follow me on that? Okay. But what happens if this changes? This will also have to change if this conserves. This is still constant. It has to modify. So, what is the, the uh, let's say, the variation of this term? So, as I said, it's how your mass is distributed on your body. So let's see, if I try to rotate on my vertical axis, like this, okay, I have an inertia and a first time velocity. If with the same velocity, but if I do this, the momentum is different. So if the momentum is constant and I am uh, opening my arms, what happens? Velocity changes, increase, decrease, it's the same? Decrease. Decrease. If, if inertia decreases, how many degrees? Okay, so question. Here is increasing or decreasing the inertia? Inertia, inertia is increasing. Okay. So you can track, I have not here, not here a chair with that, but if you use a chair uh, that is able to rotate on the vertical axis, you can experience it. You can try to move yourself, then open your arms, close your arms, and this, the speed of your rotation will change. It's not that you can try it only, and it's, it's the same principle. So if you try to move your arm in space or robots, then your base will move accordingly. But, for example, if I try to move the arm in this way, the base is one in which direction rotates? Rotates clockwise or counterclockwise? Anti? I can't hear you. Uh, Anti-clockwise, no, uh, clockwise, I think. Clockwise. This way? Uh, clockwise, eh? Yeah. This way? Do you agree? Do you agree? Come on, give me an answer. Who's for the yes? Who's for clockwise? One, two, two, lot of undecided. And let's see, uh, who's the this rotating in the other way? Of course, suppose that it's still at the beginning, so this is zero. It's there, and you start to move. Who thinks it's going the other way? Raise your hands, come on, I cannot see you. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, I kind of lost the one with the So, uh, it's actually this way. If you think about it, if it's rotated the other way, you are trying to move your arm, then you move, then the arm is moving faster, and even faster, and even faster. I don't think that it's something that is related to conservation of energy in general. So it's very 
exactly in the opposite way. Question, that is a problem or not? Yes. 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 Why? <laughs> because if it's moving to reach something, it's never going to reach it because it's going to yeah. turn the exactly. other way. That's the point. So if uh, you have just your body gun to move and you simply try to move it in this direction, for example, to grab an object or a handle or whatever, it will cut the rotate. So you will never reach it. So it's still possible to reach that just using your robotic arm or not? What do you think? Yeah, okay, you say that it's possible. So how can that be possible in your opinion? Uh, maybe changing the way uh, to reach the target here. If you move, we say that this is going the other way. So how do you reach this? I mean, I will not go into detail of that because it's quite complex, but there is a principle that you can use using reaction wheels, maybe. That is one way. I will go that later for another reason, but yeah. Uh, and then? Extending the arm. Yeah, extending the arm. Okay, moving the arm is that what you can do. But uh, the answer is actually already written there. Well, not exactly written, but we talked about it for 10 minutes. So what you can exploit? Go the opposite way. You go the opposite way. That's good. Ow. What can you exploit to reach that? You can also rotate the, the main structure uh, in, uh, with the, the arm. Yeah, 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 using reaction wheels. Otherwise, because if you try to move this arm and your, your base is free to move, it, it will bounce back and wait. We rotate on the other side. If you fix this and you don't move this joint, it will still move away if you try to move just the other arm, the other part. So, what can you exploit? There is just two things written here, come on guys. You're hitting the opposite way so that it's... Uh... That's, that's try? Someone has to say something? <laughs> so what do you exploit? The conservation of uh, angular momentum. Yeah. The whole point is how <laughs> this changes. Maybe using another, uh, either another body to stop the rotation. Another, another? another body. For us. Yeah, of course, if you hit some, some place, you will bounce back. But I think that is not the best option uh, in space to hit things and bounce back. If you use uh, an, an arm, this arm is going this way and the other part is rotating in the op opposite way to stop the so another rise, you can, we can use uh, maybe a, like a pendulum for uh, uh, to stop the rotation of the second body. So adding another thing that changes for the change the shape of, of our uh, robot. For change the shape, shape and then change the, the, the inertia. The shape and yeah, of course there are some people that are uh, that are, that are joint uh, for example, robot, robotic arm motion, so to nullify the effect, of course you can do that. If you have two arms that are actually cooperating, yes, but two arms might be more, let's say, costly than one single arm. But you can still accomplish it. The, the whole point is acting here. I will not go into detail of how this changes because it's, uh, it's a bit complex, but you can, on how you change this parameter, can affect where you're going. So the way you want to move and change your inertia can apply here because of angular momentum consideration. So it's still possible to reach the target without using other things, so just using your arm, but using the arm in a particular way, so that you move maybe more or less a joint with respect to the other, so that you can move the final part where you want. Of course, uh, this will rotate, and that comes to the other answer. 
Why if we could use uh, reaction wheels here? You can use reaction wheels, but of course that costs you. So it costs you energy, or if you have rockets, fuel, it costs fuel. So using this approach is of course something that um, costs you less, so that's appealing. However, uh, think about uh, something more operational. Let's see something like this. And here is another satellite. And in order to operate that, you need to control the joints. And probably you have a camera here that is looking here. So looking where you are going, where your arm is going, right? Mm -hmm. So what happens if this is rotating the other one? You will get to the point where your camera are pointing here. So you don't see the target. So you're moving blindly. You have no feedback on that. So this could be already shifting away and you are grabbing nothing and you will never know that. Or in a worse, you can actually hit it more and make damages. And that is not the thing you want usually. <laughs> so that's why you may be interested in putting uh, and having and using reaction with that. Of course, it costs more, but it's more reliable if you are operating on something in space. Then there is also the other thing that I mentioned at the beginning, and I'll speak very, very briefly. Uh, those two things are orbiting around the Earth, for example. So you don't have control, that control on this. You can move slightly here and there. So you have rockets here, for example. Be sure that this is translating or not. But if you use those, and your center of mass is here, what happens? Exactly. You generate a small momentum and introduce this orb that maybe you can rotate away anyway. So you need, it's very complex to do that while trying to uh, do operation on the satellite. You can choose the less costly approach, but there's some problem with the on that. So it's like a trade-off and it's still uh, in uh, this kind of aspects. So yeah, it's finished. <laughs>